everyone, Mike here. Well, 19th of July, of course, we have these changes in what our requirements are coming out of lockdown. And I just want to give a quick video update of how that's gonna affect us here at the church. One thing I'm really aware is that we're moving from a position where we used to have regulations to now it's recommendations. So that where there's some clarity, we want to give as much certainty and clearness as we can in what we're doing. I'm aware of people's feelings. I don't know about you, but some people are feeling very anxious and uncertain about the days ahead. And some people are feeling very bold and excited. Well, we want to journey together as a community on that. And whether you're in this traffic light system of a, a green light person who's keen to go ahead, or a red light person who's very cautious, or Amber, probably like me, in between, keen about some things, but cautious about others. We want to journey together as a church, as we want to love God, love his people, love his world, and therefore journey together with this graciously. So we're going to do things slowly. We want to do things clearly. We may have to retract on some things, but I just hope you will be gracious and peaceful as with us as we go through these steps ahead. Well, we're in the foyer. I know some of you have been through here. Some of you might not have been. Well, some things have changed a little bit. We've been having people uh, have gel their hands before they come on, come into church, but also wear masks. Well, there's some things we're gonna to continue to do is we're gonna gel hands as people come in, and we're gonna ask people to wear masks for the time being. Won't be forever, but it will be for these coming weeks ahead. So please be aware of that when we come. There's other things we're gonna say about our booking in system. We're not going to have a number limit from now on. We may have to come back from that. If we do, we'll let you know. But if you, but we're not asking you to book in to be here. What we are asking is that if you could let us know that you're coming, if you could register online, that really does help us because we know who's coming for children's ministry. Also, if someone does have COVID, then we can get in contact with people just to make you aware. But the booking, that registration is going to be open right up to the beginning of service. If you came last minute and you hadn't registered before coming, you'll be welcome too. So that's going to be a bit of a change. We're still going to take temperatures, still going to wear a mask, still going to ask um, you to gel your hands, but we're going to just take small little conscious steps forward as we come back together. Welcome back to our main hall. As you can see, we have seating laid out, but we've actually, for those who've been in in the last few months, you'll notice that the chairs are a little bit closer together. We're going to increase our numbers, and that's why the chairs are a bit closer together, but maintain a little bit of a social distance to help us feel comfortable for the time being. Right over in the far corner to our left, you might see that some of the chairs are two meters apart. So for those who are thinking they still want to maintain that two meter plus distance, there's going to be a space for you, and we'll be flexible and adapting that as we go along. When it comes to socialising at the end of services, we're going to ask people to go outside afterwards. We're not going to be serving refreshments for the few, next few weeks, but you can go outside. The weather at the moment is wonderful. And we're going to be closing off the car park, just trying to keep it to the people who are coming here early so that people can even spill into the car park and it saves anybody, any potential accidents outside at the end of the service. And when it comes to singing, well, that's one of the things that me and so many of us have missed so much. We are saying, yes, you can sing, but we're asking people to wear a mask when they're in a the building and especially when they're singing. Uh, we know that we could sing without a mask, but we just want to be considerate to one another, respectful that different people are in different places on that one. When it comes to other meetings, when as far as the church is concerned, we we're asking any leaders, please don't start your meeting without informing us and telling us first. One, we've had risk assessments and we need to bring them up to date. Secondly, things might have changed and we need to make you aware of how things are different, perhaps where you were meeting and the times that you would like to meet. The, the main thing is, if in doubt, ask. Contact myself or particularly Nicola via the office and we will let you know about what we're doing on a Sunday and what we're doing midweek. The final thing I wanna say is this. In John chapter 1, verse 16, he writes that from, from his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. As we've received the grace of God, I think at this time we need to be really gracious and considerate to others. That if those who are struggling a little bit, that we're going to walk a little bit slower with them to help them journey together. For those who are walking the quick and want to rush ahead, I'm going to ask you to perhaps just slow your pace down of expectation. That we're going to respect and love each other in this new season as we will come out of lockdown and into all the new 
few things that God wants to do in us and through us as we seek to love God, love his people and love his world.